how do you see AI playing a role in BIAs and RAs today? Is that for me or Brian? That's for you. Okay, for me. I'm going to throw so, the question to Brian next. Yeah, so the, the, it's 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 definitely interesting, right? And I, I kind of already mentioned a little bit from a disaster risk ass assessment piece of it is the understanding as to where our data is flowing, right? The, re the reality is that a lot of our business units, they're using things like chat GPT and, and stuff like that to help them write uh, proposals and, and emails and, and that, ty that type of thing. But where's that data going? Yeah. It, it, that, that data ultimately, in a lot of those instances, are being utilized to better their system. And obviously, that's, the, that's how AI grows and gets better. But at the same turn, that data just went into a system somewhere yep. that is technically able to be ac accessed in some form or another by other folks. Yeah, a lot of folks don't realize that when you use AI, you give away the rights to that data. You absolutely, are giving away the rights to the data. Yep. yep. I mean, yep. I remember when Facebook went uh, was doing their IPO. I forget who it was. I think it was the marketing guy. Sat at a bar and left his phone unlocked in a bar, and their entire IPO strategy was on that phone. <laughs> they had to change their IPO strategy. <laughs> I remember that. that. That was brutal. Ryan, what do you? What's your take on that? How does AI or other technologies such as AI play into a BIA and RA these days? How, how do you? How do you? How do, what do you, how do you consider that? Is from a regulatory perspective or from an auditor's perspective on, on AI and how it fits into RAs and BIAs? How, how do you deal with that? Well, I, I like. Chris was saying you still have access, and you were mentioning that you still have access, better access to all the data uh, and so forth, but you still have human involvement in determining a, and judgment in RTOs, RPOs, what are the critical uh, timeframes for recovery, what are your risks, and so forth. So you still have a lot of uh, input from humans into this process. So AI is not going to solve all your solve all the challenges with respect to BCP and BIA. No, I don't really you... think that it changes a whole lot on the BIA side of the house. Yeah. Personally, at least I'm not, I'm not feeling it yet. 